Hi kids, in this video, I am going to discuss what how to check the equality of two arrays in CSR.NET. So this code that I already written to save some time. So at here, or here you can see, or I have taken in a desired type of array. The name is A over R. So this is at here single dimension. At here the size is three, and this element that I provide. So at here a double r2 single dimension array size 3 and here you can see the same elements. So if you enter at here same elements and after processing this all code. So at here if you enter everything same then the output display at here true. So let's execute and check output itself display true. Now if I do some modification on array. So let's do some changes. So add your elements, the values are different. Now here execute. Add here the number of elements are same but the values are different. 76 and 6 both are not awesome. So add here the output, it's a different font. Now if the user add here enter like uh, or two. So at here uh, size 2 and 2 elements and here this is 3. So 2, 3 not same. So at here the output is being false. At here you can see the output itself displaying false because at here number of sides between two array are different. Now here after I'm going to explain this code. So this code that I pasted here. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method here after that go inside. So at here I have taken integer type array variable the size is 3 and here the elements 9, 89, 76. So 0 index 9 and here after 89 and this position 76. And at here a double r2 size 3 and here 0 index 9 at here 89 and this position at here 76. Now here after the control comes to test method and here a double r receive this all element 9 89 76 a double r to receive 9 89 76. Now here after compiler that I start searching where is the test method. So at here control comes to this point. So there is the test method and your first parameter a double r one at here. So this value a double r one value go to a r one. So at here it's now a r one and here a double r two values go to a r two. So at here this is now a r two. Now here after that go inside. So here I have taken bull tab available B and here the value initialize with true. Now here after control comes to if part A or 1 not equal to 0. So at here it has some values. So it's not null. Okay. So this condition is true. And here A or 2 it has some values, so it's not null. Now here after that go inside if condition is true so that not go to this part. Here after that go inside so there is a one more if statement and here a r1 length. So three element and here this person length is three and here a r2 this person and here three. So three not equal to three condition is not true. Go to as part here i value start from zero. And here 0 less than a double or 2 length. So at here this is now 3. So 0 less than 3 condition is true that coincides. So at here a double or 2 0 index and here a double or 1 0 index. 9 both are 9. So at here 9 not equal to 9 condition is not true not coincide. Here after i increase i is now 1 1 less than 3 condition is true that coincide. 8 or 2 1 index 89 a or 1 1 index at here 89. Both are same. So at here both are same. So it's not true. Here after I increase I is 2 now. So 
less than three condition is true. Right. Go and check. Two less than three condition is true. A double R two question at here seventy six. And here A double R one. A R one index seventy six. So seventy six not equal to seventy six condition is false. Again that not coincide. I is not three. So at here that check three less than three condition is not true. So that out from for loop. And here after that out from as far. Now here after control comes to this point. Here console dot right. D one is not true. So that it is true. And here after control back to this position. Here after this point. And here after that out from make not true. So if you enter add the same value, so it will be true. Now suppose if I do some modification, going to enter add the same value. So add here on this add here AR one seven. So AR one that is a seven, and here that coincide B is not true. So AR one has some element, so it's so true. AR two has element, so it's true. Here after so length of also same three three. Now here after or three 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 not equal to three condition is. Not true, so that go to as part here. I will start from zero. Zero less than three condition is true. So at here eight over R two I. So nine nine equal. So at here this condition is not true. I increase. So zero one. One less than three condition is true. That go inside. So at two of I. Eighty nine eighty nine. Both half equal. So it's not true. I increase. I is two. So less than three condition is two. So a of two of two. Seventy six not equal to seventy six condition. Add here two. So seventy six not equal to seven condition is two. That means and b is not false. Here after i gonna increase. So i is three now. Three less than three condition is false. So this out from for loop. And here after that out from. At here this a point. Now control comes to this point here. Console dot right. So this should be false. Here back to this back here from out. Now suppose if I enter at here two size two. Okay, only two elements nine and eighty nine. Here a r one has nine and eighty nine. B value is now true. Here after It or R one has two elements, so it's not null. So it's true, true. Here also that coincide. So I do it or R one length is not two. So two not equal to three condition is true. So that coincide B is not false. False. If condition add here, it's true. Not equal to as part. Here also that out from this point here console dot right. It fit false. And you have to suppose at here if I enter or some null values. Okay. So at here a or one I enter null values. So null not equal to null. So this condition at here two and a or at here two null not equal to null. So at here null not equal to null. Suppose there is no any element. So at here. Null not equal to null condition at here false. And here null not equal to null condition false. So false and false. So at here it's false. So if what that go to as part here, B value become false. And you have to consult or try it. At here it's written false. So this the way we can check at here equality of two elements without any using method. And this the steps of execution. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.